Scorpio, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here with your reading. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts. Pick a node. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Scorps, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. There's no gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer. Pay it no mind. Feel the energy. And remember, roles can always be reversed. Scorpio, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you, thank you, and thank you again. All right, my loves, let's talk about your energy. First of all, can we address the fact that it's a, I came into your energy and I felt like, don't laugh, but seriously, like, is are your bills just getting disrespectful at this point? Like, I am not trying to be smart. <laughs> I'm not talking about the regular bills. I'm just talking about, I'm talking about, I don't know, something is off in your finances. Uh, it, like a bill is disrespect. I feel di like it's hurting my feelings. Does that make sense? I know it sounds crazy. Um, I feel like you either had a lot of expenses this month or everything is due at the same time for some reason. And it's normally like, like that, or, uh, like you're just paid the, the month's bills. And then you find out that you're, I don't know, your six month renewal is up on something else. So you got to pay that too. Like there's something in addition to your regular finance, your regular bills. And it's like all at one time. I, th I think you got it, but it's so disrespectful. I mean, this, I <laughs> I'm sorry. I love y'all. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain the energy. Like I felt, I don't know, like you were a thousand air and now you're a hundred air because you had to pay, you know, like it's done, but darn, right? <laughs> All right. Um, second thing was I feel a lot of presence around you. You might really be picking up on loved ones, um, just uh, energies. Uh, there's multiple, multiple energies around your energy. A lot of, uh, assistance from the other side. I have to, it's not, it's not regular. It's like, um, there, there's a lot, there's like three or four, you know, um, around this energy. So that's, uh, that's like a, usually a meeting, you know, there might be a community meeting to see what the plan is. I think you just stepped into, you might have just done something new or you've just made a decision or got on a different path. So now there's a meeting to discuss uh, the journey. Um, so it looks like it's gonna be laid out quite beautifully for you. Whatever decision you just made, um, it's definitely uh, supported, okay? It's definitely supported. We're pulling from the uh, Wisdom of the Oracle. So let's see what we have for you today. Can I have Scorpio? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Scorpio, thank you. Mm -hmm. Treasure Island, yeah. Abundance, blessings. There it is. It's coming in on a turtle, but it's coming. And the milk and honey. Scorpio, donation time. When's the last time y'all made a donation? I know you got it. Stop lying. That's why you... <laughs> That's why you... <laughs> That's why you fussing about the bill because you feel it abundant, baby. There's so much more to come. Seriously. The money flow is, is in... It's in... Um, Oh, how do I say that? It's in re recycle. It's in recycle. Don't worry about what you have going out. It's coming right back. It's in recycle. Okay. Oh, God bless you. Don't forget me. All right. Listen, um, observer is coming in. Remember I told you, I, I feel like you have a lot of uh, assistance on the other side right now, like a community meeting. This is you looking to uh, your future. You know, I think you've just made a decision and I think it's in the works or 
uh, you've made a move and you're starting, you know, fresh or from scratch, you know, new job, uh, maybe you moved, maybe you're planning to move, like now you've decided to move, so now you're putting action in behind that. Like he's literally sitting on an egg. You know, that's the new beginning when it, when it hatches. Oh, and mother loving G. Now, your family be, is going to family. I, I love you, but they are, number one. Number two, people are going to people, okay? For those of you that are changing jobs, just change jobs, change schools, uh... Uh, whatever the case is, you're you're going into a new environment, um, thinking that the that's going to be better for you. That people are going to people, no matter where you are. Okay, it don't matter. It don't matter. What has to, uh, what has changed, is you. So while the people are peopling, yeah, you might feel like here we go with this again. But if you don't entertain it you know, um, and have your boundaries in place, it, you, you can, it won't affect you. It won't affect you like it did before, you know, and you don't want to get caught up in this like never ending story, um, energy because that plays with your time and it slows things down. You got great things happening, a great flow. Remember I was saying earlier, even with your finances, that recycle, don't let the people stop that energy. Okay. Don't let your mindset or you entertain in foolishness, mess with the flow of time for you right now because you're in a great flow, okay? Uh, Co-creation is here because I think this is already happening. Um, you see the different spirit animals. Yeah, I think you already have this meeting going on. Um, for well, some of you, it's coming, I guess. But there's a celebration. Look at you. And the, look, see the meeting again. I'm telling you, a lot of spiritual assistance. Here's the egg again. Somebody about to get pregnant. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. I mean, congratulations. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me stop. Let me, uh, congratulations. I'm sorry. <laughs> My stomach hurt. Let me say this. I, I know somebody, uh, some of y'all about to get pregnant, okay? Woo! Um, and congratulations if, you know, if it applies. Um... For those of you that are laughing with me, because you know that you, I ain't talking about you, uh, fertile energy, you know, it does birth, birth life changing events. You understand? Fertile energy doesn't always mean pregnancy, even though I know what that is. I can literally taste the morning sickness on my cheeks. Um, but uh, fertile energy also births life changing events. So don't dismiss it. Because both of us is laughing, but Scorp, it really, it's a good thing for you, okay? I love you, but seriously. <laughs> Woo! All right. Here we go, y'all. Let's go. Let's get into it. We're pulling from uh, Star Spinner for you today. And if you if you don't want to be you know caught up and you're not looking to start a family or extend your family, then make sure you're safe right now because you're very fertile. Okay. If the wind blow too hard, you might pop up pregnant. It was a strong wind. <laughs> Let me have the core for Scorpio, please, please and thank you. There we go. All right, Scorps, I have, oh, we have three here, Ten of Swords. Oh, I'm surprised about that. Okay, um, Ten of Swords, Page of Cups, and um, King of Wands all coming in reverse. This is surprising me. I'm sorry. Hmm. Um, okay, so, you know, I, I'm... I, I know for you, it's you, you felt like you're over it. You're done. So you're drawing back your love. You're not, um, pursuing something anymore with this King of Wands coming in reverse. I got that part. Something else is coming in with this page and it feels like a child. Hmm. I don't want to say that. Um, uh, 
you know, how can I say that? Uh, this child, no, not this child. Let me just say this. Um, it feels like it's it, it's coming off like uh, somebody that didn't, that uh, maybe a child that doesn't make it through, like that, that couldn't, um, like maybe the loss of a child or a child that didn't make it out of utero. You know what I mean? That's there as well. I have to say it. I'm sorry. Uh, and my condolences if that's the case. Absolutely. Um, because it's going to, it's going to, it's, it's going to take you down for a second. You're going to, yeah, you're going to hit the floor. All right. You'll get back up, but you, you will hit the floor. Um, I, now, like I said, you were kind of retracting, um, drawn back from like uh, entertaining any kind of foolishness. I don't want to pay attention. I can't afford it. I can't even afford to pay attention. How about that? Um, you're dealing with your bills. You're dealing with your life. You're dealing with your future. Um, you're getting out of that mindset of needing a whole lot going on to feel act, to feel uh, accomplished or active or positive. You know, because of how a lot of people are raised, if you don't, if you're not, in, if you don't have your hands in like 15 pots, you're lazy. No, we getting out of that. I don't need all that. I just, I, sometimes you just want to sit down and you're still productive. You know, you do what you need to do, but you just don't need all the extra. That's how I feel in that, that part of the energy. Uh, what's crowning this? Hello. Oh, <laughs> Knight of Wands crowning and it's sideways too. I think you're still in the uh, kind of um, testing waters of new things, you know, new people, new food, new life, um, learning what you want, what you like is changing. Yeah. It's all changing. The four of cups is here because some things that you did want or did like, you don't like anymore and you don't want anymore. Okay. So test, test, try new things, you know, try new things. You know what you don't want. You got that part covered. So test some other things out and see what you like. Okay. What's working against Scorpio right now? What's in the, hello. All right. And what's coming up in the way is the six of coins. Yeah. Balance working against you with the knight of swords. Okay. People in their mouth. God darn. All right. Scorp. I don't know what it is about finances for you at this time, but for some reason, it's not uncommon for you to experience somebody saying something like belittling about your financial situation, not even knowing nothing about you, you know? And I know you, I, I know personally that you guys go through this. I've actually seen it with my own eyes. I've heard it with my own ears that for whatever reason, even though you may have a very nice uh, wardrobe or a nice car, or you might have a degree, you have a job, whatever it is, for some reason, there's always somebody that's uh, like diminishes your accomplishments, you, you know? Um, and after a while that gets, you know, a little bit nerve wracking to be honest, but it would work against you to entertain that conversation, all right? The reason why it bothers you so bad is because it's an old wound. It's something you've had to fight for a while. So after a while, like I said, you get tired of it. But it would work against you to entertain this conversation, okay? Don't do it. Don't do it, my love. You got so much other things going on that are positive and you have so much more coming in. You're in a great place. This is an enemy plant. That's all. This is the enemy knowing your triggers and sending uh, one of his minions. Okay? Don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. All right? Where's this coming from for Scorpio? Please and thank you. Past energy. What brought this on for Scorpio? There we go. Ah, nice. Justice. I love it. Libra energy coming in sideways. Okay, so the past, with justice uh, coming in sideways, that means that in your recent past, you've kind of, things have been falling into place. 
karma has been served on your behalf. You're getting blessings. Dharma uh, coming out, you know, of this justice energy. Things are uh, basically the ball got rolling on getting things the way they should be. And it's what it was because of you, believe it or not, because you kind of started being proactive in your life on your future on making moves, you're making phone calls, you're asking questions, you know, you start doing stuff. So the energy you're putting out, the, the, the universe is responding. That's why you're getting blessings. But at the same time, that's why the foolishness has to come as well. All right. So let's see where this is going. Future energy, please, for Scorpio. Where are we going with this? All right, I don't do the floor, but I'm going to take this one. And we're going to a place of power, baby. Queen of Wands energy. Very intuitive, passionate, forward moving. You know, um, I love her. Seriously, Queen of Wands energy is awesome. I can't personally hold on to it for too long, but, I, you know, let's see. We'll see what you guys do with it. I haven't turned the deck over yet. Uh, but because she's really, really strong. You know, Queen of Wands energy is strong. Aries Leo Sag. She's the only queen that will challenge the empress. I tell people this all the time. Even though she knows she, her title doesn't equate, she does not care. That's how she wakes up. I'm I'm confident. If I'm there, it's already uh, wonderful. You know, like I woke up like this kind of energy. That's how she rolls, you know. And what's coming in with that is the nine of wands. Yeah. So what you'll do with this queen energy is protect and defend yourself. That's how you're going to stand. I said it earlier. Earlier, I said, people be peopling. What did I say that? Here, people be peopling, okay? You have changed. You have grown. People are going to people. Don't let that stop your show, okay? You protect what's important to you, which is your growth, your peace, your coins, you know, your family, your values, your integrity, your morals, you know? You stand on that. You protect that because it's worth fighting for. So that's what you're going to do. Now, it looks like you are getting a new crew, new job, new new um, mix here. A little bit of therapy too. I ain't going to lie. All of it's here with the three of wands. But I like it because it's going to help you. Look, you're going into that empress. Oh, she pregnant. I, I'm Somebody, yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, I keep saying sorry. God darn it. Congratulations. <laughs> Because it, my friends are older. So if somebody called me and, and said I'm pregnant, I ain't going to lie. I'm a, I, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, hello? When you get to the second half, I don't know how they do it. But, you know, more power to them. But congratulations. Empress Energy, like I said, uh, very, very, very fertile. If this is an issue for you, protect yourself. Double up, baby. Double up. Triple up. Okay, I'm trying to tell you, this empress is fertile. I don't even have a uterus and I can feel the kicking. You, you understand me? <laughs> I don't have an oven, but I know something is cooking, you know? So, uh, but she's intuitive. She's abundant. She embodies all four queens. This is a birthright energy, okay? It's by blood, all right? And it's coming in with nothing but happiness, joy, and fulfillment. The sun is right with it. Oh, this is lovely. Lovely, lovely. Don't mess this up, Scorpio, because can't nobody mess this up but you right now. Everything is aligned beautifully. So self-sabotage would be messing up. And how would you do that? Not having emotional control, emotional maturity, and utilizing emotional intelligence. I said it earlier, don't let nobody push your buttons. Don't entertain I just said it. It's doubling back. The same message. Don't do it, my loves. Okay? Hold on to what's near and dear to you. Hold it dear. You know? Hold your peace. Very near and dear to you. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, that's you getting them coins back, too. Um, magician energy coming in. I love manifesting all the tools available for you to call in whatever it, what you want. And for some of you, yeah. It is congratulations because you do want a family. So absolutely. Um, a home or the job, whatever. The queen, you know, she's a provider. She's very grounded. Uh, she's a very protecting and nurturing energy. And that's what you're manifesting, okay? 
even generational wealth, you know, would fall into that. Um, sometimes we can manifest these things and, and call these things in, but I feel like you're looking at your partner like you're not ready, you know, and that might be a problem. Um, because you feel so good and your partner, now this is with love or business or like, they're not, they're not on the same page. They're not on the love, the same level. And if you loved your way to be blind to that before, um, your eyes are wide open now and you can't unsee it that they're not ready. And when you did see it, you might've said, it's okay. It's okay. But now it's not okay. Because the elevation is requiring you uh, to make a choice that you don't want to see. So you're saying like, listen, I really don't want to have to choose. Now, God, if you do something, I'll, I'll follow you, of course, but don't put that on me. You know, that's what Two of Swords energy is. It's, it's, it's a tough choice, but sometimes you do have to leave some things behind with this Eight of Cups so that... Uh, which is hard to do so that you can move to the 10 because that's what's aligning here for you. That 10 of cups, complete bliss and fulfillment. So remember that you're that empress and tame whatever beast inside that you need to that ever allowed you to operate outside of the empress's energy. You know, um, once you do that, you'll realize that nothing can really hurt you. You know how to protect yourself, four of swords, and you know how to investigate properly now, have small talk so that nothing is super duper committed, even though this is a little, you got a little teeny stalker, maybe Aquarius. Well, that's you, Scorp. Who are you stalking? You stalking an Aquarius? Huh, okay. Um. But yeah, small talk to, you know... Because you're growing, you, you know, you, you sometimes it's not about what you attract, it's what you entertain. You know, it's not about what you attract. Because we all we all can say that we attract some cuckoo. But, you, you know, it, it's what you entertain. Okay? Um, but, yeah, the growth is here in all areas of your life with this. The hair font is literally coming in with the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Cups. Are you kidding me? And the Six of Wands. I'm tired of sweating you. I'm done. I'm Scorpio, when I tell you you are in a great place right now, please understand, do not entertain foolishness. Keep foolishness out of your house, out of your way, out of your mind, and out of your mouth. Okay? Because you are in a great place. All right? I love you guys. I hope this helps. If any event you said green eyes, listen, I don't even know you. This is not my life. And that's it. You know, I'm okay with that. Check your uh, moon or rising. Please don't take this energy with you if it's not yours. Leave it here for someone else. Okay. Everybody thumbs up. Subscribe. Make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It's free and it supports the channel. Remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.